The primary procedure to deal with uh, a bad gallbladder is called cholecystectomy, which is just a fancy term for saying we're going to remove your gallbladder. And the gallbladder can come out, but what it's attached to needs to stay. And so the liver and the bile ducts that are around the gallbladder are delicate organs that we have to uh, leave functional so you can digest, digest fats uh, uh, and, and normal food. Uh, and so well, the procedure that we use these days, at least for the last 30 years, is a laparoscopic or minimally invasive approach. The days of making a large incision under your rib cage for removing your gallbladder uh, kind of gone by the wayside. We still do it every once in a while if you've had a lot of operations and scar or a really, really bad gallbladder. That's still the, the best way to remove the gallbladder. Uh, because once you, once you go under anesthesia to remove your gallbladder, you really don't want to wake up with the gallbladder. And so we do everything we can to make sure that you don't have a gallbladder after the end of the procedure. But 99% of the time, we're able to do it minimally invasive, which is through little pinhole operations. And, uh, pinhole operations come in two varieties these days. There's what we call multiport, which is the classic three or four small pinholes in a triangle formation on your abdomen. Or there's the single site, which is one incision that goes right, in, right inside your belly button where we put all the instruments in there. Uh, and either way, uh, the recovery time for minimally invasive or laparoscopic surgery is substantially better than the old, oper the old uh, incision. Uh, and so I would say that most folks that have this kind of operation are uh, getting back to life within about a week to two weeks. Uh, and then, but you'll, full recovery is usually anywhere from four to six weeks.